I've read that interest in Lego has gone up 20% in the past year and that COVID was really um, one of the reasons for that is that people were at home looking for creative outlets and this is kind of a fun hobby and a rewarding experience to be able to create and to build something that's unique. Emily LeBaron and her son Isaac have a love for Lego that runs deep. The mother and son duo work together to enter their Lego Wilson Middle School project into this year's Lethbridge School Division Lego Challenge. LeBaron says she thought of little details like Peter Pan on the stage from her own experience as a staff member at Wilson Middle School. The school did Peter Pan this year, so when we were building the gym and we made the stage, we're like, well, of course we have to have Peter Pan on the stage because that's that's the reality of what the kids saw this year. The Lego Group Toy Company was founded in 1932, and the word Lego is an abbreviation of the two Danish words leg, got, which means play well. LeBaron outlined the size and scale of the Lego piece for us. And it did end up being um, five feet by three feet. It took about 2,500 pieces, and we have about 75 minifigures in there. And Wilson has about um, 700 students, so I figure this is maybe a one-tenth of what a day in the life of school looks like. The winners of this year's Lego Challenge are set to be announced at the end of March. For Bridge City News, I'm Micah Quinn.